This is Duke University. I've been using team-based learning in my education here at Duke, both in the School of Medicine and in Arts and Sciences for the last two years. And I think the individual learner achieves a deeper level of applied knowledge than I've seen in my previous 18 years of teaching at Duke University with more of a lecture-based format. I was always sort of a, a lone wolf studier, I guess you could say. And I thought I learned best as an individual kind of in my library cubicle. I've ultimately found that I have retained more knowledge than I ever would have as an individual working alone. And whether that's because I, I got to discuss it out loud with a group of people and kind of bat my idea back and forth, and that helped me gain clarity in my understanding of the subject, or for some other reason, I'm not sure, but I absolutely have retained and uh, accumulated more knowledge. If a visitor arrived about 30 minutes into the class session, what they would see is a lot of active engagement, something that looks very different from a traditional lecture setting. They would see students huddled together in small groups, and they would be debating and questioning one another. They would be offering possible answers and testing out their ideas, all through face-to-face -face conversation. Being able to listen to another per person's argument and point of view and understand your own argument well enough to be able to close the gap between those two different points of view to come to a, a correct point of view, if you will, is, is very important. The first step is learner preparation, and I give the students a clear guide as to what I want them to learn before they come to class. Step two in class is readiness assessment, where students are held accountable for their preparations for that class session. The third step is tutorial, where I enter the learning process in the classroom with the students, thinking in real time about questions that they then bring to me. The next step is the application phase, and this is the most exciting aspect of team-based learning. This is where students actually apply their knowledge. Finally, the fifth phase is something that happens after class, and this is peer assessment. I want the students to value teamwork as much as I do. Today's learner has the capacity to access core knowledge through a variety of means, and the faculty member no longer needs to be a gatekeeper to that knowledge. Rather, the faculty member needs to bring his or her expertise to the classroom to help the learner understand why what they are learning is important. And now we're seeing more courses in arts and sciences, particularly those for undergraduate students in Trinity College. Dr. Steve Craig from the Department of Chemistry has taken on the challenge, Dr. Craig Roberts, Dr. Stacy Bilbo. We've been able to build a community of faculty that are learning from one another as we are all in what is still the early days of team-based learning here at Duke University. We welcome the participation of any other faculty member who's willing to learn with us, and we'll do it better uh, because of that uh, community of learning that we can create.